If you use shorthand argument names, you can omit the closures argument list and drop the in keyword. All that's left is the body of the closure. In line three, use the dollar zero shorthand argument name to complete the closure. So what we will say here is that let squared equals values dot map curly brackets and now we say dollar zero times dollar zero. So what this now means is that the map function will iterate through the values array and each time it will take the value and double it, uh, squared basically, not double it, but it will multiply the value times the value. And when we print this, you can see that it still works correctly. Let's further refactor our closure to something really simple.